going on fellas and welcome back to another episode of Draft Force. Now we are recording this one immediately after the 2004 one so we haven't seen your suggestions on what ideas or classes we should do next. We thought we'd just jump on the idea of the last episode and do the 2001 class. If I'm not mistaken that is Vic versus Brady. Mm -hmm. Yes sir. Okay, so you guys should know the rules. We're going to do picks 1 to 14 because we like to do that with these draft classes. And the best part is, if this is your first episode seeing these actually made classes, you guys get to choose who wins at the end of the episode. So make sure you watch to the end. Let us know down in the comment section whose draft you think was better. If you were starting a franchise, whose class would you take? So I'm on the team select screen. Dustin has to start these franchises because it's glitch right now, but he got the 49ers. Two, one, stop. I got the Steelers. All right, let's go ahead and jump to week three. Wait, Michael Vick didn't go to college? He went to No, he Virginia did. Tech. They just didn't. They just didn't put it. Yeah, they just didn't put it in there. Come on, CeeLo. All right, it, this looks like it's overpowered because he's A plus, A plus, and A. All right, so this might be Vick versus LT because for some reason, <gasps> oh, uh, Brady's Thompson. not in here. Wait, Brady's not in here. It might have been 2000. I might be wrong. It was taken in 2000. There's probably people who have already written an angry comment saying, Brady wasn't right, in 2001. Right. It's fine though, because you got Vic, but you have Breeze. A lot of people think the Breeze is the best overall QB of all time, mate. That's very true. So you got Breeze, Vic. I mean, this still looks like an amazing class. You have LT in here. You have Andre LT. Carter. Steve Smith Sr. Santana Moss is there. That's a name I know. Keep in mind, fellas, that... I don't know a lot about NFL history. So if I see a player that I know, they got to have some kind of thing, good or bad. Reggie Wayne is here. Reggie Wayne is there also, yes. He's from Miami This is too? a very deep class. Yes. <laughs> what the hell is... Bro, Miami OP as hell. That's that's unfair. I told you in the last video, Miami from like the, the 80s through the early 2000s, like they were the most OP college program ever. Was Chad Johnson really... A second rounder? Oregon State. Yes, from Oregon State. For those of Al you who Trump know who TJ Hushmanzada is, he was a sixth or a seventh round pick also. Right. Michael Bennett is there. Oh, no, wait. I'm thinking of the Seahawks defensive player. This Michael Bennett should have been a running back, if I remember correctly. I know who Nate Clements is. I've heard the name. I don't know much about him. I know Steve Hutchinson. He was a he's, godly corner. He's an ultimate team. I see a, he always gets like a card in ultimate team. I won. I'm 3-0. You're definitely going to get the first overall pick. Mm. Yeah, I'm 1-2, and two, bro. How come this Bengals team is 1-3, and three, but when I get the Bengals? Because Madden is kind of skewed like that. Yeah, talk about user preference. I mean, when you want to go back, I don't know. It's not even worth talking about. It pisses me off. All right, let's go David Terrell. <laughs> ah, man. Yeah, this this is getting harder because this is an older class. And that's the thing as well. I don't even know if the subs will know a lot of these players. Like, I'm sure they'll know Drew Brees and Vic and all that, but and Chad Johnson. But after, like, four picks, I have no idea what I'm going to do. It's going to be a big freaking uh history lesson then i mean i could sit down and go over everything with you but that would take <laughs> yeah we, we don't have four hours to upload this unfortunately but yeah from what i can see i'm down at like the third round and i don't i don't oh here we go steve smith is that steve smith yeah he was a third round pick wow out of utah interesting so i might just go down here and kind of uh if you want to again I can tell you where all the all the later round guys are. Give me give me some really notable ones. Uh, Fred Smoot is forty number forty five. Chris Chambers number fifty two. A uh, really good Dolphins wide receiver. Okay. Sean Rogers number sixty one. To I'll take that back. I don't know if you'll know this one, but he was a Cardinals mainstay from the time he got drafted until I think like the latter part of his career, Adrian Wilson, yes. number 64. I was sitting no, I, I do remember the name Wilson. I'm out of points though. I'm broke. Kicker Bill Gramatica, number 98. Uh, running back Rudy Johnson. Flem should know who he is. Corel Buckhalter, C4 should know who that is. Brandon Manu Maliuna, number 127. Tony Stewart, the race car driver? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> Even I know who that is. Number 200, Ronaldo Hill. Oh, hold Number on. Number 202, 
TJ Hushmanzada. Oh, I know who Hushmanzada is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He played for the Seahawks? Well, he finished his career with the Seahawks. He was uh, with uh, Chad Johnson with the Bengals. He was their Ooh. big one-two punch. Okay. Number 222, Eric Johnson. Out of Yale. Interesting. So remember that I know a lot of people say we shouldn't scout all three skills, but if I look at this guy, I'm not using his talent level as like a determinant of where I'm going to take him. You guys yeah. choose who wins. I want to emphasize that. This, there's no, you know, whoever gets to fall first. This just gives me somebody who doesn't know a lot about the NFL back in 2001, an idea of what I'm really looking at. Like I know obviously Reggie Wayne, Drew Brees and that, but looks like we're both going to the playoffs. First time, you know, we battle it out. What if we both made it to the right? Super Bowl? Dude, honestly, we might have to press pause and just play it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you oh, lost to the Bengals? Yeah, I'm five and six. Holy shit, Rudy Johnson. Yeah, I told you, Rudy Johnson's in here. No, but like, have you seen his top three skills? Yes, I have him. I have him scouted. A plus A. What the? My goodness. That is sickening. Broncos have signed Antonio Brown. Three year deal. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Ryan Tannehill got signed to the Saints as well. All right, so it is time for the combines. And I mean, I don't know what Vic ran, but I'm definitely about to find out. 440. He was faster than that, wasn't he? I want to say he was in the four threes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I want to say it was a 434 or 435 or something like that. Yeah, yeah. LT. LT runs a 429. I don't feel confident, I will tell you that now, but I think I have like a brief knowledge of who I want to take. So are you ready okay. for this draft? I'm ready for the draft if you are. Let's do it, mate. Let's go. All right. So I am on the board. Fun fact, LT is the first NFL player I ever heard of. So I kind of, you know, I got a sweet spot for LT and he broke all those records and that's, you know, that was impressive and all that. But uh -huh. here's the thing, I'm the Steelers, Vic has at one point played for the Steelers, and imagine a division with Lamar, Jackson, and Vic in it. I think that's all you need. Right. I wonder how OP Vic is so. going to be. 79 overall, so it is somewhat realistic, but I will tell you he's second in true talent. So there is somebody yep. better. He's got 94 speed, 93 XL, which I think is, I, I mean... If it's not going to be Michael Vic versus Tom Brady, this is going to be Michael Vic versus LT. Oh, okay. Damian Tomlinson, okay. welcome to the 49ers. 81 overall hidden development first in true talent. Show, show us some of the stats. Like, what's his juke, spin? They gave him 95 speed, 95 excel, 95 agility. 91 juke. 91, 91 juke. juke. Spin is 87 and his elusiveness is 84. So here's the thing, mate. You're a bastard. Because you've got me up against the wall now, and I'll tell you how. If I had taken LT first overall, right, you would have probably taken yeah. Vic. But then I, I could have taken Drew Brees. So I would have had yes. Brees and LT. But now that I took Vic, you're probably going to get... Like, I, it makes no sense for me to take Brees. From what I've seen, Steve Hutchinson seems to be one hell of an offensive lineman. Oh, yes, he is. So I'm going to take him. He's a 78 overall. He was third. So that yes. kind of makes it, I don't know. I'd probably take LT and Breeze over Hutchinson and Vic, but I'm doing the best, guys. I'm doing the best I can. Because I traded away one of my defensive ends, I'm definitely going defensive end on this one. I'm having a little bit of a problem, though. Justin Smith has a better overall three skills, A, A, A minus. Richard Seymour has a 6.1 combine, though, and he's the strongest. So... I'm going to bite the bullet, and I'm going to go after Seymour here. Okay. I don't know anything about Richard Seymour. I'm just going to... I don't I don't know. We know that he's a 78 overall hidden development, and he's fourth in true talent. Right, right. I have to step up here. I've got to challenge LT, because I've got a quarterback. I've got a bit of protection. Who's going to run the rock? Can't be James Conner, because I traded him to get these picks. I've got to take Rudy Johnson. Okay. A plus, A plus, A plus... He's a 73 normal development. We're looking at 93 Excel, 87 speed, 63 break tackle. I think he should have had a higher speed level because he was more of a, of a scat elusive back. But right. I remember him being faster than that. But I remember thing, him being faster than that. 92 carrying, 91 trucking, 91 stiff arm with 93 Excel. Yeah. Not bad at all. Like that's a good consolation no, he's prize, a beast. you know? 
Since I traded my middle linebacker away, I'm going to have to go middle linebacker with this pick. And the only guy in this draft class that I actually know of is Dan Morgan. I remember him from, from his days with the Panthers. That's back when they were actually good. Another Miami player as well. I forgot he went to Miami. Yeah. Wow. So let, let's take a look at this. He's A minus, A minus, B plus, late first rounder. So he's probably going to be a low 70s. 74 overall, yeah. 74 overall, 20th in true talent. There's obviously not a lot of players that I know here. But I know Nate Clements. I don't know from where, what team, anything. But I've heard the name, and I've seen highlights of him at Ohio State. Somehow, in some video. So I'm going to pull the trigger. I was going to go Deuce McAllister, but I already got Rudy Johnson. So Nate Clements... 76 overall hidden development. He's ranked ninth. Definitely a, a cornerstone cornerback. Oh, definitely. Uh, if I remember correctly, he played for years in Buffalo. Right. This is really hard because, I mean, you got a lot of great wide receivers here. A lot of great wide receivers. But I think, honestly, I'm going to take a reach on this one. I am going to drop all the way to the third. And I'm going to end up taking Steve Smith. Oh, that's not a bad pick, though. That's that's not bad at all. A minus release, B plus catching traffic, and B catching. 73 overall, hidden development, ranked 26th. Right, right, right. Well, here's the thing. I just remembered that Reggie Wayne was in his class. Oh, Chad Johnson's here as well. Right, for Chad Johnson Chad. Is there as well, yeah. We're talking about a guy who works out with a Big Mac in his hand and still can't right. people up at 40-something years old. As much as I know, respect, and love Reggie Wayne, I gotta go Ocho Cinco, man. I gotta. So he's gonna be a 74 overall hidden development. 94 speed, 95 excel. Pretty good route, yep, like really yep, good route yep. running. I could even stick him at running back and he'd probably dominate. You probably could. Could be, yeah, be a mad could. receiving back. I mean, the guy was known for running crisp, perfect routes. Well, it definitely is replicated. I traded away my tight end to get the second overall pick. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the trigger right here on Todd Heap. For those of you that remember who this guy is, he was a mainstay in the Ravens offense back in the day. Let's go ahead and see what he is. 73 overall, 23rd in true talent, hidden development, not bad. 81 speed, 84 excel. Wow. Only so 73 really catching fast. though. I know the players we draft have nothing to do with the team that we have, but I just can't look past Juju Smith, Chad Johnson, and Reggie Wayne. That is one Go hell of it. a receiving call. I know I've already Go got a receiver, it. but how can you not take Reggie Wayne? He's a 76 overall, ranked 8th in true talent. 95 Excel again. Uh, pretty good route running, I wouldn't say amazing. He doesn't really stand yeah. out in anything on the stats, but everything is good. He's got one orange and everything is green. All right, so if, if we're going to go ahead and bypass need then, and I'm going to take Drew Brees. The Pats need a quarterback, let's be honest. Okay. So, Drew Brees, you are now our quarterback of the future. That just made it so hard. Imagine if we went this whole draft and Drew Brees didn't get taken, how angry people would be. So he's a 77 overall, hidden development, six in true talent. He has 90 throw power, 87 deep, 90 medium, 90 short, 86 play action, 83 under pressure. Yeah, this guy is a monster. I don't think I've gone that much defense, so I need to bolster that up a little bit. I'm going to take Adrian Wilson. I still got love for the okay. Cardinals. He's 6'3", 230, pretty much top three in everything. Okay, he's a 69, but... But... It depends on what you guys how you rate it like are we looking at their career impact like this is a solid player who just joined a really now solid team <laughs> let's be honest with a strength in acceleration and speed so that doesn't even make sense but i get what it's trying to say uh he's got horrible man coverage pretty bad zone but he can't even hit hard yeah i don't i don't know there's actually nothing he's got 50 awareness there's actually nothing about this guy that looks that amazing 
So I need a right outside linebacker. So I noticed that Tommy Pauly is still here. His combine isn't that good other than his three cone and his 20 yard shuttle, but his top three skills are A minus tackle, A minus pursuit, and B play recognition. Well, tell us a bit of history of him. Like why, why are you taking him with the 14th pick? I just remember the name. I don't remember him off the top of my head. So I'm going to leave it up to the comment section to educate me about this player other than me knowing him as a name player. 74 overall, normal development, 21st in true talent. Not bad. Now here's the thing, bro. We got to go to the recap because I don't know who won. I don't really remember who I drafted. I just remember being like, this is going to be really close. Yeah, yeah. I think this is definitely closer than the last one. Like, there's going to be so many torn people in the comments. And if you guys, as long as you're not a dick, if you guys want to have like a friendly debate, the reason we do draft wars, especially these classes, is so we can have a nice, healthy debate and have a lot of fun along the way. So let's just recap. My class is Vic, Steve Hutchinson, Rudy Johnson, Nate Clements, Chad Johnson, Reggie Wayne, and Adrian Wilson. And my draft class is LT, Richard Seymour, Dan Morgan, Steve Smith Sr., Todd Heap, Drew Brees, and Aww. Tommy Pauly. This is so close, bro. Maybe you even won just based off, you know, I don't know who Richard Seymour is. I don't know who Dan Morgan is. You've got legends all over the place, as do I, though. I know, this is, this is probably the closest... Uh, like legends draft wars that we've done so far between the two well fellas it's all in your hands right now let us know down in the comment section who you think won friendly reminder the person who made this class is the pinned comment dustin's link is always down in the description and you got anything to say before we wrap up nah this was just fun i enjoyed it who do you think won like on it honestly I, dude, honestly, this one, like last one, I can honestly admit that I think you won. This one is so close that I literally will leave it up to the comment section. I have no comment toward this one, one way or another, because you have a solid Legends draft class, and so do I. I can't wait to see what you guys say, man. But if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Hey, Talk, I get it. Yeah, you know I'm about to dip it. Kill me, I'm a let it. Run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet, touch heaven. Heaven, heaven.